Yo, what up street dogs there, Kim, all right, the thought. How to move yourself to make photos. So it seems the goal is to make new photos, not to make great photos, but to make new photos. And, and I think this is the goal. It seems the goal is to, it's so simple, to just walk more. The more you walk, the more you'll see, the more you'll experience, and the more you'll delight in life. Nice little sunset here in Providence. All right, so it seems like some practical thoughts. The best stimulus is for photography, just drink more coffee. And also increasing the frequency in which you just kind of uh, go outdoors and walk around. So obviously we're living in COVID times, whatever, but um, my thought is, I don't know, I don't think, uh, for the most part, I don't really think COVID will ever go away. And so if we kind of accept the fact that COVID may never go away, then the question is, in the constraints of the COVID world, how can we thrive? So my thought is go out more, witness more, experience more, and you'll find more inspiration to shoot. And yeah, like in so far much as you can, walk around your neighborhood, uh, walk around new ways that you typically don't. So taking novel paths. So we typically, you know, when you're driving out cars or you know walking, we almost always take the same walking path, but just kind of switch it up a little. This means rely less on Google Maps and more your intuition. Um, I know for myself personally, like I'm a slave to Google Maps and I've always had a horrible sense of direction. And it seems hugely beneficial that the less that I actually listen to Google Maps, the more I just kind of walk and just follow my own nose, uh, the better. Because the more you could just kind of allow yourself to do random walks, the more novelty you'll experience. And I think what drives a lot of us is novelty, which means to see familiar things in like slightly novel, interesting ways. And I think, um, I don't know, if you're the type of person you like to travel and stuff like that, it does seem that novelty is what brings us a lot of joy and delight, is the more novelty we can see and experience, the better. And another thing that I've realized is no matter how nice your house, your neighborhood, your environment, your city, whatever, sooner or later, you're gonna kind of get bored of it. So you're gonna have to kind of switch up your routine. So doing, uh, new walking paths, visiting places you typically don't. And certainly in today's COVID world, we can't always just be traveling anymore. And so I think in some ways, we can allow ourselves to travel in different degrees. So going to certain neighborhoods in your town that you typically don't, and to just walk around a little bit uh, differently and to uh, experience and maybe re-experience 
old sites in new ways. Seems to be nice. Yeah, I like that. We experience all things in new ways. So let's say we typically have a, a typical walking path. Do the same walking path except, you know, walk at it backwards or forwards or whatever direction you may walk it. So walk more, think more, experience more, and the happier you'll be.